Tonight at 10, two suspects have been arrested after an investigation into a shooting into Funiac Springs. Plus, Bay District Schools is in need of more teachers to cover summer sessions. And we're diving below the surface to uncover a tale from the history of Panama City Beach. Live from WJHG, this is News Channel 7 at 10. Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Wilkins. And I'm Barry Lowell. Welcome to News Channel 7 at 10. We're starting tonight with an update to a story we brought you earlier this week. Two suspects have been arrested in relation to a shooting into Funiac Springs. Armin Holmes and Memphis Carter now both face felony charges for the shooting. Those charges include aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and using a firearm in the commission of a felony. Officers responded to the Wagon Wheel Bar last Saturday where there were reports of gunshots. No one was injured and there was no property damage reported. Within hours, the suspected vehicle was located and Holmes and Carter were identified. Holmes was arrested earlier today and booked into the Walton County Jail. Carter was arrested while appearing in court for a different case. He will be sent to the Department of Juvenile Justice since he is a minor. We have decided not to show his face tonight. The 14th Judicial Circuit will soon have a vacancy. Judge Joe Grammer has announced he's retiring. Grammer joined the bench in January of 2009. Before that, he was a prosecutor starting in 1981. He has informed Governor Ron DeSantis' office of his decision to retire on August 31st. He has two years left in his term. The circuit's nomination, nominating commission has already begun the process of filling the position and are taking applications from members of the Florida Bar. Those interested can download the application from the governor's website and take that application to the law offices of this man, Waylon Graham, in Panama City. Graham is chairman of the circuit's nomination, nominating committee. Committee members uh, will select several finalists to send to the governor who will appoint Judge Grammer's replacement. Bay District Schools is gearing up for graduation and its summer recovery program. But the district needs teachers to sign up to help students recover their credits. The deadline to apply is Friday, May 17th. The summer program will run from June 10th to July 25th. It'll be Monday through Thursday. The course will allow middle and high school students who made a full year average of less than 60% to recover credits and even participate, participate in test prep. Our summer